What's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1978 Cadillac Eldorado Custom Baritz Classic. Up front is a seven liter V8 and down below is a three speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this Eldorado Baritz because it is lapidant and luxurious. And I just love driving older Cadillacs. I recently drove a 76 Eldorado convertible and that was saying goodbye to the eight liter V8. That was saying goodbye to the convertible, but that generation this generation lasted a little bit longer than 1976. So today we're gonna to take a look at the 78 and see what the peak of personal luxury was over 40 years ago. But if you would like to submit your own vehicle, you can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com slash submit. It's a quick and easy submission form, takes under a minute to fill out and I come out to you. But let's get back to that seven liter under the hood. Well, like I said, it was actually downsized. This is known as the 425 cubic inch. That's how it's more accurately described as. I just say seven liter because I say liter in all of my videos to help with some consistency. And at this point, it was actually Cadillac offering a smaller engine. However, that doesn't mean that this doesn't have any grunt under the hood. It gets up and goes. It's a very luxurious engine to where you don't really realize you're accelerating until you're up to speed and I like that driving feel. Now, like I said, Paraduit is an automatic transmission. These only ever came with automatics. It's a really unimaginative and unspecial transmission in that way. Last but not least, a lot of people don't know, but these are front wheel drive and I believe go down in history as one of the largest front wheel drive vehicles ever created. So how does it feel to drive a Cadillac Eldorado Custom Baritz Classic? Well, very comfortable. The steering is overly light. I would say too light, but that's what luxury was. You can turn the wheel with a quarter of a pinky and be fine. The ride is nice and floaty as a Cadillac should be. And it's calming, it's relaxing. The air conditioning is fine and dandy and actually still working here today. So with that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. We can talk about some of the great Barrett's features. Well, in front of me, I have a very horizontal gauge cluster, speedometer, very simple. And on the steering wheel, we don't have anything. However, the steering wheel actually does look a lot more modern than I thought it would. And that's a really cool looking steering wheel. It doesn't have an airbag, but it looks like it might. Off to the left, we do have our climate control along with our wiper switch. I love this wiper switch, but according to the owner, apparently it's kind of annoying to use, but I don't know, I like the look of it. Our headlights, as well as our climate controls and cruise controls. This is over here by the driver. Passenger doesn't get any say when it comes to the climate controls. Kind of an interesting feature there. And this does have cruise control, which does in fact still work. Moving out of the door, we do have a thermometer on the outside on the mirror. I forgot to mention this with the 76, but we do have a thermometer on the outside of the door. Very cool there. And then we do have our power mirrors, power locks, and power windows. Moving up above the gauge cluster and everything, this is where my unleaded fuel is, as well as all my warning lights. And I do get a clock on the inside. Love those features. But moving down the center stack, we do have two climate control vents, an aftermarket radio, and our rear defrost and auto antenna buttons. We also get this lovely pattern that's also found on the door. I praise the 76 Eldorado for this, and I'm still praising the 78. Then we do have a pull-out ashtray and cigarette lighter, and no cup holders. So by default, the 1978 Cadillac Eldorado Custom Classic Brits Super Legera fails <laughs> the big friggin' bottle test. <laughs> One really cool thing about the interior is that this is actually a removable trash can. So you can toss all your garbage in there, spill it out, and then you just put it right back in. Very, very cool that Cadillac included that. Then we gotta talk about the seats. And this is impressive to say the least. Now the Baritz did get special seats, comfier seats. And what Cadillac ended up doing is they took the cushion from the Eldorado seat and said, hmm, what if we did two? And everyone applauded in the room. They literally just put cushions on top of cushions. But if you've ever been left on your own at a sleepover, you know that that actually does work. Sleeping on two cushions is better than one. These seats are in the top running for comfiest seats I've ever sat in in a car, and I've sat in over 1,300 different cars. They're exquisitely comfortable. It feels like a hug from your grandma after she just baked you cookies and slipped you a $20 bill. They're beautiful, lovely, and I want them in my home. I want them at my wedding, and I hope that one day, they'll be at my funeral. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. Let's go to a back seat review. All right, 
getting in the back uh, of the Brits. And these seats, they don't leave me with a whole lot of leg room. Arguably, the non Brits actually has more leg room than this, but maybe it's because it doesn't have two cushions stacked on top of each other. This is wonderful. These seats are so comfy. Oh, there's something in my butt. Oh, there's something in my butt. Oh, there's something in my butt. Please don't make that into a TikTok sound. Um, it was just the buckle. Oh, man. These little ashtrays with the cigarette lighter. Look at that. Look at that. That is attention to detail. It has the sort of wreath around it. Love that. I mean, Cadillac really didn't miss when it came to this car. And I think this car gets a little bit of guff just because, oh, this was the start of the downsizing, this is the start of the smaller engines. Oh, we have to be economical. But that's just noise. Back here, there could be a nuclear war going on and I'll just go, oh, really? Interesting. And then get turned into a McNugget. But I would be comfortable while that happens. And that's how wonderful these back seats are. Let's hop out, we'll take a quick look at the trunk, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, around the back of the Cadillac Eldorado Custom Baritz Classic. We know square key for the ignition, circle key. Pull this up, there's a little latch that should come out. Doesn't want to hold it here today. That's all right. Pop it open like that, and we do have Mr. Fallon, but tons and tons of space in the trunk. Absolutely love that, you can fit. I mean, the whole world back here, and that's lovely. But something I do want to talk about, first of all, we do have some jacking instructions, things like that, very cool to see, but this does have a soft close feature. So you close it like this, watch, it'll suck it in. Very, very cool to see. Now we gotta talk about the looks. Now, the Brits wasn't all two-tone. This one particularly was, but the Brits did get the chrome striping down the side, the vinyl top, things like that. And this is actually, as of the research I've done, one of 500 to get a sunroof, which is huge, huge props and very, very cool. You didn't see many cars pre-1980s to have sunroofs. They were definitely around, but it's rare. And so to see one in 78 is definitely very interesting. But the overall look of the Eldorado, I mean, how can you not love it? This does have the rubber front fenders for that five mile an hour crash requirement and all of that. However, with all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving a 1978 Cadillac Eldorado Custom Baritz Classic? Well, first of all, that name is way too long. I don't think I have to tell you that. But here's the other thing. This was the peak for personal luxury back in 1978. And I was a little worried because, oh, you know, they downsized the engine. This was the end of big engine era Cadillacs, but it's really not the end of anything. This car is wonderful. It's delightful. It's coddling and comfortable and if you made enough money back in the day to afford one, boy, did Cadillac make you feel like the absolute man in the room. I get it why people strive to have Cadillacs back in the day. It all makes sense. And so if anything, I'm just excited to show you this Cadillac, what it was like back in the day and how things have changed. But I'm happy to see that this car is still luxurious even by modern standards. I really genuinely can't get over these seats. I know the owner Daniel told me, he's like, these are the comfiest seats I've ever sat in. And I looked at him and I was like, I review cars, I'll be the judge. Well, I'm being the judge right now and yeah, these are some of the comfiest, if not the most comfiest seats I've ever sat in. So here it is. Soak it in while you can in high definition. This is what luxury looked like in 1978. And it's an era that I still wish we could go back to. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Daniel for letting me take out his Cadillac. I hate saying the name. Cadillac Eldorado Custom Baritz Classic or Classic Baritz Custom, whatever the Daniel's been absolutely awesome. I filmed a bunch of his vehicles here today. Such a down to earth guy, such a great asset to the channel. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I can't say enough good things. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.